Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of fluid mechanics, myself Dhruv Patel. In our last lecture, we have learned some basic hydraulic machines like hydraulic press, hydraulic intensifier and hydraulic accumulator. In the today's lecture, we will learn about hydraulic lift, hydraulic crane and various other machines, right? So first of all, let us understand hydraulic lift. So lift is a common instrument used in a multi-storage building. So function of the lift is used for the carrying persons and various types of loads from the one floor to the another floor. In the any type of a corporate office, the lift is used for to carry person in the various types of a lever or various types of the floor and in the any types of a industry. Lift can be used for the carrying loads from one floor to another floor that is known as hydraulic lift. So let us understand construction and working of hydraulic lift. So from this sketch, construction of hydraulic lift. So in the hydraulic lift, this is shown as ground floor, first floor and second floor. So one cage of the lift will be there where we have to place some loads, right? Where we have to place some loads or we can stand here right it is attached with the wire rope and it is attached to the fixed type of a pulley block so there will be two pulleys the right hand side pulley will be fixed pulley and left hand side pulley that will be movable pulley right in that pulley pulley is attached with the one sliding ram we can say piston or cylinder type arrangement that is all arrangement that is known as jigger and liquid under higher pressure will be supplied to the piston and cylinder type assembly right so that is basic construction of the hydraulic lift so now let us understand working of the hydraulic lift and how it works so in the working of the hydraulic lift first we have to understand how to get to the second floor from the ground floor so suppose our cage will be here right remember this suppose our cage will be here at first moment if you want to apply load here or if we want to go above side to the second floor right so we want to supply fluid under higher pressure from this piston and cylinder assembly if we supply fluid under higher pressure then fixed pulley that is unmovable but this is piston and cylinder assembly so with the use of sliding ram our movable pulley will be moving in the left hand side direction clear students our movable pulley will be moving in the left hand side direction so from that left hand side direction one tension force is applied in the wire rope or we can say wire rope will be moving in this direction right so here wire rope will be moving in the downward direction here and from that from that two pulleys our cage will be moving in that upward direction so if we apply liquid under higher pressure here we can get elevation in this cage right so if we apply higher pressure liquid from the piston cylinder assembly we will get elevation to the cage so that way we will supply our material from the ground load to the second floor right and exactly opposite to that suppose our cage will be at the second floor and we will have to move to the ground floor then we have to remove some amount of higher pressure fluid to here right or here outer side so our movable pulley will be moving in the right hand side direction so one compression force will be applied to the wire rope so wire rope will be moving in the upward side direction here so wire rope is moving in the upward side direction and this cage is moving in the downward side direction with the use of these pulleys this is basic construction and working of hydraulic lift clear students so you can get and reduce elevation with the use of higher pressure liquid supplied at the bottom level of the movable pulley right this is basic function and working of the hydraulic lift now similar to that let us understand hydraulic crane so hydraulic crane is very common machine nowadays so function of the hydraulic crane is to raising the heavy loads is widely used in the warehouse or workshops in any type of a factory if you want to lift the 100 kg of load to here to there then we can use hydraulic cranes right so here it is hydraulic crane so this is construction of the hydraulic crane so this is load w here load is applicable or load is hanging with the use of wire road and guiding pulley will be there this is two roads we can say this this is two supports above road will be known as tie and lower low road will be known as jib right support structure holding the both the roads that is known as mast
now similar to the hydraulic lift here the hydraulic construction will be there in the piston and cylinder assembly if we want to supply higher pressure liquid from here that is one fixed pulley will be there at the bottom side and one movable pulley will attach at the higher side with the use of piston and cylinder right for the piston we can use a ram also right so similar construction to the hydraulic lift is will be there now in the hydraulic crane if you want to lift any type of a load w then we have to supply liquid under pressure to the here if we supply liquid under pressure to the here then this is a fixed movie this is not movable but this is a sliding ram so we can know this moving pulley will be moving in the upward side direction so one tension force will be applied in this wire rope right moving pulley will be moving in the upward side direction so one tension force moving in the wire rope so our load will be lifted in the above side direction right now exactly opposite to that if we want to reduce the elevation of the any type of a load or if you want to put load at this some particular place then we have to remove some amount of liquid from here so movable pulley will be moving in the downward side direction so our wire rope will be moving in the right hand side direction so our lift will be our load will be moving in the downward side direction clear students so that is basic purpose of the hydraulic crane it is used for the various warehouse and various types of a industries right now our next machine will be hydraulic jack so hydraulic jack is used in any type of a automobile for lifting the automobile for maintenance purpose so functions of hydraulic jack is used for the lifting a heavy load through the vertical distance by application of much smaller effort if we want to do a puncture in our four wheeler then we have to use hydraulic jack at that four wheeler and we will lift the our four wheeler with the use of hydraulic jack and we will easily remove our any type of a wheel right so let us understand basic construction and working of hydraulic jack so in the construction of hydraulic jack one fixed ram will be there or we can say ram is attached at the some particular base which is very hard on the ram one moving cylinder will be attached right on that moving cylinder one reciprocating plunger pump will attach with the which is operated with the use of one lever right you have to remember this we have to apply lever for the raising and lowering the automobile with the use of hydraulic jack so this is load where we can assume one car will be placed here this is screw to the lower the load right whenever our work is got finished we have to lower the car from his above position so we can use this screw to lower the load right so that is basic construction for the hydraulic jack now let us understand working of the hydraulic jack so in the working of hydraulic jack if you want to increase the level of the any type of a automobile or car or if you want to lift any type of a vehicle or car then we have to apply lever from here whenever we are applying lever from here the reciprocating plunger pump got activated and with the use of this reciprocating plunger pump action the liquid filled here will be moving in the downward side direction here non return valve will be attached here so liquid will be moving in the downward side direction so that downward side direction so liquid will be stored here inside that moving cylinder that liquid applied pressure in the cylinder in the above side direction so our load will be lifted in the above direction clear student that is simple construction after the maintenance of any type of a vehicle if we want to decrease the our level then we have to use this screw because this is non return valve attaching here so liquid did not go to the above side direction by itself so if we open the screw to the lower the load then liquid will moving in the upward side direction here and after that our four wheeler will get back to its original position clear students so this is construction and working of hydraulic jack i repeat again the working of hydraulic jack if we want to increase the height or if we want to lift the any type of a load then we have to apply this lever with the use of reciprocating plunger pump 
this water will be moving in this downward side so water will be applied pressure in this movable cylinder in the upward side direction so at the upward side direction right so our load will be lifted in the upward side direction whenever the maintenance got finished if we want to lower the load then we have to open the screw to the lower load then our liquid stored here will be moving in the reciprocating pump itself and our load will be get to the original position that is basic work, working and construction of hydraulic jack so in the hydraulic jack we can raise heavy load by much smaller effort with the use of reciprocating plunger pump and it is used in automobile vehicle for maintenance purpose okay students our next machine will be hydraulic ram so basic function of the hydraulic ram it is used for the pumping small quantity of water remember this it is used for pumping small quantity of water to the higher level with the available large quantity of water with the lower level clear so if we have large quantity of water at the lower level we can supply some amount of quantity of water at the higher level with this water by itself clear student that is function of hydraulic ram remember this again if we have some amount of water at the lower level we can supply some amount of water at higher level than this level with the use of hydraulic ram that is basic function of hydraulic ram now in the construction of hydraulic ram one supply tank will be there at this supply tank we have some amount of water stored here at the lower level right one supply pipe will be there here the supply valve is connected this is valve box because three valve is connected here so this is supply valve and from that the fluid is going to the delivery valve so delivery valve one air vessel is connected here and after the air vessel one delivery pipe is there and finally this is our destination right we can where we can supply our small amount of water at the higher level than our original level clear students so this is our basic construction so let us understand working of the hydraulic ram so in the working of hydraulic ram we have to supply some amount of water with the use of this supply pipe at the valve box right so it works basis on the water hammer process so what is water hammering so when a flowing water brought into the rest with the change in the momentum causes some rise in the pressure that pressure rise utilizing into the rising small amount of water to the upper level clear that is our water hammer principle so whenever we are supplying some amount of pressure fluid from here supply tank water will be impacted here in the valve box with the use of some hammering process and the momentum of water will be converted into pressure right so you got my point some momentum of water will be converted into pressure so after some time this valve box is getting filled with amount of some amount of pressure of water right whenever the pressure of water is increasing 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 and level of water is increasing with the increase in the level of water this waste valve got closed by itself because see the design of waste valve this waste valve it got closed by itself so our pressure intensity in that valve box increases very rapidly right so our delivery valve is open by itself so water from the valve box will be moving to the air vessel with the use of delivery valve in the air vessel some amount of air will be there and higher pressure water will be there so so water will be supplied to the air vessel right and after some time with the increase in the pressure in the air vessel water will be moving in the delivery pipe and got some elevation with the use of that pressure so that is basic purpose of our hydraulic ram we got elevated water at some point clear students so let us revise construction of hydraulic ram once again so if we supply some amount of fluid from our supply tank if we supply some amount of x number of fluid from the supply tank then this fluid got impacted here and momentum of this fluid will be converted to the pressure of that fluid with the pressure increasing to the valve box one waste valve will be closed by itself after that our water will be filled in the air vessel where the pressure is continuously increasing and with the use of compressed air 
that pressure will be applied to some amount of water so some amount of water will be going in the delivery pipe and we can get some percentage of x amount of water at the above level so from the hydraulic ram we can hire or we can get elevation to the some amount of liquid this is basic working of hydraulic ram clear student so we will used some amount of water at lower level and we will get some amount of water from that at higher level with the use of hydraulic ram clear students so that is it from the today's point of view thank you for watching my lecture